Hey, Hoodoo loves. Okay, I want to talk really fast about something because it's making the rounds in the Hoodoo community again, and we should talk about it. There is an idea, a, a wrong idea, that if you put magic that comes from your personal body or your life into a spell, then you are going to be tied to the results of that spell and unable to escape. Now, I think where this comes from is the concept that using somebody's hair or fingernails or bodily fluids is a personal effect that can be used to target them, right? That's, that's a very common concept in Hoodoo and Conjure. But what I think a lot of people don't understand is that that is not automatic. Any ingredient of any type that you put into a spell, the way that it is going to interact with the magic depends on what intentions and prayers you put into it. So basically, if you put a drop of your blood into something to dominate someone and you instruct it to bind that person to you, that person is bound to you. You're not bound to that person. On the other hand, if you put a drop of blood in and say bind us to each other, now you're bound to each other. But that's the way it really works, so that's what I wanted to share. I know that it's a little crazy out there and people have a lot of different ideas and I generally try not to contradict other people's traditions, but this one's actually kind of important because there are a lot of spells that are gonna ask you to like use your urine, use your hair, use your fingernail clippings, use your bath water. Like th those are super common in hoodoo. But if you're using them and instructing them to do something other than connect you to the spell, if you're using them to be an ingredient, then you're using your own essence and your own spirit to enact your will and get magic done. You are not tying yourself to the result of the spell. So just wanted to clear that up for everybody. You don't have to worry about that. Yes, you should always use your magic with wisdom, with care, with consulting with your spirits and being sure that your intuition is on board, but you don't have to be afraid about getting tied up in negative results. Bye.